Hello everybody, welcome to Chemistry Concept and today we will be discussing about the S block elements and their periodic properties. So first of all what is the S block elements? So and how you will consider that this is S block element, this is P block element or so on. So let me tell you and clear you one thing. So in periodic table we having this lithium, sodium, potassium, CGO, francium and we having uh, magnesium, calcium, iridium mm, and here we having helium here in noble gases. So these elements are known as S block elements. These are S block elements. and this group is known as alkali metals and this group is known as alkaline earth metals because they found in the in the earth and its core and this is the noble gas noble gas element. So these are S block elements and why we are calling these are S block elements S because there is some suppose we having this lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium. Suppose we having the elements and if we are writing the electronic configuration of these elements What is the electronic configuration of lithium? Lithium can be written as helium in braces to S1. This means noble gas configuration. So here it ends with 2S1. Again, if you are taking for sodium, it will end with 3S1. For potassium, it will uh, end with argon and 4s1 and so on. So here we can see it is 2s1, 3s1, 4s1. So in last orbital, we can see this is s orbital. Valence orbital is s type sub cell so we call it as as block elements this is the reason why this is called as the s block elements and now move to the uh, properties of this s block block elements so first i will tell the stability of carbonates so in alkali metals CS2 CO3 is more stable as compared to rubidium to CO3 potassium CO3 and and sodium bicarbonate NaCO3 and lithium bicarbonate. This is the stability order. And alkaline earth metals we having in al alkaline earth metals also the trend is similar as compared to the alkali metals. So down the group stability is going to increase for the carbonates and this is because of the size of the metal ion as it is going to increase down the group so this is for the alkaline earth metals now if we are going to see the 
sol uh, solubility and the basic strength of the oxide of alkali and earth metals so we'll see uh, uh, for the oxide this, uh, and the solubility so we'll see the solubility and basic strength of oxides so dicesium oxide is more stable then I mean stability is going to increase down the group for this all alkali metals and alkaline earth metals so lithium 2 this is for alkali metals and for alkaline earth metals if we are going to see the trend is trend is uh, similar as compared to the alkali metals so this is the uh, basicity order and basicity increases down the group in block TS and one more and important thing to tell you that cesium hydroxide is the most basic compound till none so this is the most basic compound till none the cesium hydroxide so uh, for hydroxide also as we are going to down the group so basic strength of strength of hydroxide of alkali or alkaline earth metals increases down the group and melting and boiling point both decreases decreases down the group because of weak metallic bond down the group Alkali and alkaline earth metals are good reducing agent. Alkali metals are good reducing agents since it can easily reduces other group and oxidize itself. So this is very strong reducing acids and if you are taking the multi melting point of halides then it will follow the trends like this M is alkali or alkaline earth metals in case of alkaline earth metals will be having M2 uh, this F2 so this is for alkali alkali metals this will decrease melting point will decrease the group in down the group so uh, these are the product properties of s block elements if you having any doubts please put in comment box thank you for watching our videos and don't forget to subscribe thank you